Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Recently, I have got a question on my robotics enterprise framework series, which we have built on the channel. There was a question which I got from one of my subscriber and I felt that that question is important and might be confusing for most of us. Okay. Hence, I thought of creating a video on that so that I could actually provide you an answer with an actual implementation. Okay, so this is the video where we are explaining the complete RE framework series. We have got four or five videos along with the end to end use case. In case you haven't already watched that, I will put the links in the description for your reference. Okay, so in one of the video, I have got this question which says that I have a question. What happens if we get an exception in the get transaction state? Okay, so as we know that RE framework has four stages. Let me go back to RE framework. As you can see, we have got four stages, right? So get transaction usually take care of getting the transaction from the queue or a data table or any of the iteration, right? Now, in this, if there is a new transaction, it goes to process transaction to process the transaction. If there is no transaction, no data at all, it goes to end transaction, right? End process. Now, what would happen if we encounter an exception in the get transaction data and how does RE frameworks take care of that? Okay, so that is what we are going to see today. Okay, so let me quickly go to get transaction data. Inside the get transaction data, you would see that there is a XAML which is called get transaction data. Okay, if I open the workflow, this is the XAML which is responsible for getting the transaction one by one from the queue or from a data table right anywhere now let me quickly go here and intentionally i will make some mistake okay so let's say let's make some mistake in the queue name okay so this guy is looking for this key in the config so i will just change the name to orchestrator queue mukesh maybe okay now this key is not available in the config now what would happen this will break now the question is what would happen in this scenario now if you see how RE framework has handled this, right? So this get transaction is encapsulated in something is complete block, whatever it is doing the transaction. This one is encapsulated in something which is called try catch. Okay. So whenever there is an exception, which is happening in this block, the exception will be caught and it will be passed to the catch block and where it is getting rethrown, right? So if you will see here, this exception is getting rethrown with the help of rethrow activity. Now you might not understand what is the rethrow and throw. So I have a dedicated video where I'm explaining the throw and the rethrow. I request you to watch that video and you will get the answer. But as of now, what exactly will do? So the rethrow will throw this exception to the calling function. Whosoever is calling this one, this exception will be thrown to that. Okay. So if I ask you where exactly who is the parent for this one? So if you see here, if any exception come here in the try, it will go to the catch. The catch, the exception will be rethrown. That means the exception will be rethrown into this block, this complete XAML, right? So whatever exception we get from here, it will be coming inside this try block. Okay. Now what is happening in this try block? So all the exception which are coming from the child and which are not handled and are rethrown to this parent are again getting caught here. And if you see here, the type of the exception is exception, which means RE framework has put the parent system exception, right? That means it will be able to handle any kind of exception because we know that system dot exception is the parent of all exception. Now, let me quickly demonstrate it to you and show it to you so that it is clear in your mind. Okay. So I'll go to the main in the get transaction data inside the try. Let me put a breakpoint here. Okay, we are going to see all of this in a step by step manner. I'll go here and I click on the debug file. Okay, so now let's see what happens. So we'll just wait for the execution. Okay, you can see the logs on the right side. Okay, so this entire thing is built on the concept of state machine. State machine is a very good concept. So in case you don't understand state machine, here is a video which you can refer. Okay. So now my process has hit the debugger. Okay. Now let me click on step into that means the robot is now going into the get transaction data. Okay. In the get transaction data, first it will try to 
get the transaction from the transition item which is get transition item right here we have intentionally made some mistake i have put my name right now what would happen it has gone into exception and it has printed the error that the given key is not present in the dictionary okay so this exception we have got in get transaction data now it will rethrow the exception that means the exception will now be rethrown okay let's see let us see where exactly it is rethrown i click on step into step into exception rethrown from the get transaction data okay and uh, we'll again click on step into okay now let me just collapse this okay step into again i'm just going all one step at a time right so again i have come out of the loop okay so get transaction data i have got exception right so you could see that exception is getting rethrown from the get transaction data now this guy has thrown an exception via a rethrow activity it is again going to the catch in the catch it will again log the error as a fat fatal error which says that the given key was not present in the dictionary now what happened if any exception is coming the transaction item is now set to nothing okay now as soon as the transaction item is set to nothing it will go to the state right it will go to the transition of the state machine where it will check that where exactly the flow has to go next okay so let me click on step into again and you would notice that i'll click on step into let me quickly collapse this guy as well okay so here it is checking transaction item is nothing so i need to go to end process right so i click on step into right so now it will should go to the end process okay so it has uh, in the no data right so transition item is nothing so it has printed this message see it is coming here this is the transition part okay now coming to step into clicking on step into again so i am doing it step by step so that we all able to understand that what exactly happens right so now it is going to end process right why end process because in case of no data this is executing and it is coming to end process okay so again click on step into right and it is trying to close the application as of now i don't have any key code here but in case we write an actual automation it would be closing all the applications everything and let me just click on continue okay now if you come to the output you would see that this is what has happened right so in the get transaction it has got some exception that was rethrown and the robot moves to the end process okay now one more experiment let me go to the get transaction data okay now you might think that mukesh this thing was already a part of try catch and you have made a error here right okay so let me go here and in the queue name let me again rectify this okay now i have rectified the error here now you might think that this was already in try catch what happens if we get some exception outside this block right outside retry transaction now what would happen right so let's say i got some exception here right so let me quickly go and create a variable okay i will create a string variable maybe i will try to create a string variable and in the string variable i will write my name okay now in here there is no try catch so let me quickly go here and i will take an assign activity and here i will try to create one more variable so i am intentionally trying to create an exception so i have created an integer variable now the change type to integer now in here what i will do is i will try to assign the string variable to the integer one okay so i'll do here convert dot to int 32 okay so this is what i am trying to do this is not recommended you should not do it but again for the understanding we need to do it right so what is this assign this assign we are assigning an integer sorry an string to integer okay again let's try to put a breakpoint here okay and i'll go to the main save this and uh, click on again debug file right now let's see what happened so in the previous one it was 
whenever there is an exception in the get transaction item might be getting from the queue or anyone that we have seen that it goes to end process now let us see what happens if anything any exception come outside that default try catch okay so again we are in this one it has it let me click on continue right so now it will hit the breakpoint which we have okay 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 fine so we have no item as of now in the queue so that is why it is every time going to throw this exception it is saying that okay Mukesh I don't have any transaction item so okay let's do one thing we'll put this thing here right so as of now what just happened it is coming to this loop and it is trying to get the item from the queue but since we have not loaded the queue it is always going to uh, go to end data right so now I have just moved this activity before that okay so now again let me go here and click on debug file so this is the best way guys you should always prefer whenever you have some doubt try creating a small automation and get your doubt rectified okay so we'll just wait for it to load okay okay yep it is here now I click on step into okay let me see where it is going and here and yes we have generated an exception let me go to the output input string is not in a correct format right we know because we only generated it right now if you see here this entire get transaction is not in a try catch block but the XAML itself was in a try catch block this one right so again any exception which will come inside this right there can be two things one it can be rethrown from the get transition which was this guy retry scope right get transaction item this one it you might get exception in trying it or you might get any exception in both the cases what would happen it will come to the catch part here it will print the message now you have seen that message is different right input string was not in a correct format and again the same thing it will set the transaction item to nothing as soon as it set the transaction item to nothing then it will go to the end process and it will close the application right so the correct answer to the question is it will always go to the end process because in case of any exception which we get in get transaction data why it is going to end process the transaction item is getting set to nothing and as soon as the transaction item is getting set to nothing it is going to no data and end process okay so now I hope you are clear with this answer in case you have any such question feel free to drop me a comment and I will try to make a video on it or I will try to answer it in case you have not watched the RE framework series I have made a complete end-to-end -end HR use case which you can actually practice along and you can actually practice the complete use case in the robotics enterprise framework with queues okay this video also explained the concept of exception handling which was try catch throw and rethrow in case you are new to exception handling there is a dedicated playlist which only talks about exception handling right so the same playlist is covered in hindi language as well if you are comfortable in hindi i have covered the exception handling in hindi as well i have put all of these links in the descriptions for your reference okay so i will like to wrap this video here thank you for watching i hope you like this video if that is the case please subscribe to the channel and happy automation mm -hmm.